So I'm back with a brand new DIY and this time it's a little bit Christmassy. I'm making this very festive bauble wreath to hang on your front door or anywhere in your house and you can make it in any colours that you want. I think it looks super cute and it's so easy to do. So this is what you're going to need for this DIY. First up you're going to want a coat hanger. This forms the basis of your wreath and it's what you're going to hook all your baubles onto. I've just got this thin wire type but you could just use normal wire if you don't have a coat hanger. Then you're going to need your baubles. I bought mine actually last year in the sale. I picked them up in Sainsbury's I think when they were super cheap and I'm using a variety of sizes. So first up I've got these slightly larger crackle effect. And then I've got a multi-pack of different style of silver baubles. These are kind of a standard size. And then I've got some little mini baubles. This is a pack from the range, which I think was about £1.20. In sort of different tones of green I'm using. And then this nice sparkly pack with different pinks and greens in. So I'm going for a real mix of sizes and colours. I also decided I wanted to add a little bit of extra sparkle in mine, so I'm using these um, plastic diamond jewel effect pendants. Again, these are from the range and they were pretty cheap at about £1.20. Next up I picked up some ribbon. This is a really wide type of ribbon and it's got that brilliant wire in the edges so that you can bend it and it will stay in position which is great for making bows. You're also going to need some scissors and some pliers and some snips to snip your wire. You're also actually, if you're going to use my method, going to need a glue gun, but I'll come to that later. So the first thing I did was open up my coat hanger. I unwound it and straightened it out. And then I tried my best to bend it into a sort of circle shape. Don't worry too much about it being a perfect circle. You can sort of form more of a circle shape later when you've got all your baubles on. Then I used my pliers to twist a loop in the end and kept the other end just straight so that I could thread my baubles on. I actually snipped off that little uh, windy bit there. It just made threading the baubles on a little bit easier. I used my snips to do that. So then I'm just going to prepare all my baubles by snipping off the thread as I'm not going to need that. I'm going to do that to all of the jewels and I'm going to snip off the thread of all of my baubles. I'm now going to lay out my design. So I'm going to put some fabric down so the baubles don't roll away and I'm just going to lay them out in the order that I want them to go onto the wreath. This is just so I make sure that I have an even spread of all the colours across the wreath and don't get three quarters of the way round and then run out of baubles. And then I'm going to start threading them onto my coat hanger. So one by one I'm going to pass the wire through the top of the bauble and work my way along my design just threading them on one by one. So as I said you can do this bauble uh, wreath without using a glue gun. I've decided to use a glue gun as I want to use such a varying different amount of sizes that it makes it a lot easier to get everything in the right position. If you are going to do it without a glue gun you will need considerably more baubles as what you do is you fill the entire coat hanger with baubles so the whole thing is so tight together that you don't need any glue to make things stay in position. This means your baubles will go the whole way around the back, but basically the whole way around the coat hanger whereas I want mine to be flat on the back. So I'm only threading on my larger size baubles. I've kept back my smaller size baubles and I'm actually going to glue them all into position. And once I've threaded all my baubles onto the coat hanger wire, I'm then going to use my pliers just to bend the non-looped end into a hook. I'm going to bend that back on itself into a hook and then put the hook into the loop on the other end and that's going to hold the wreath together. So I'm going to bend it round into a circle and hook it back on itself. So I'm just going to bend the wire and get it into a perfect circle shape or a circle shape that I'm happy with and then I'm going to go around with my glue gun and just glue all the baubles together in the position that I want them to be so that the back is flat and all the baubles are sticking out in the position where I want them to. So I'm going to dot glue on each of the baubles and squeeze them together. So I worked my way around the whole wreath doing this. Unfortunately my camera did not capture that but trust me that is what I did. And now I'm using the glue gun and the smaller baubles that I've kept to one side and I'm adding smaller baubles into all of the gaps. 
So I'm working my way around, alternating the colours and the textures of the small baubles and just adding them in to all the gaps. I'm also gluing in the jewels that I showed you earlier. So again, I'm just adding some glue to them and popping them into any of the gaps that I want to fill. And I'm going to work my way around the whole reef, taking my time to get it all um, even and nicely spaced, all the different colours. My top tip for gluing is to just apply um, the hot glue around the base of the bauble, pop it where you want it and then just twist it ever so slightly just to fix it into position. And that's it. Last final checks before I add my bow. So as I said before, I'm using this really large uh, ribbon which has got this lovely wire in it which means you can form it into shapes. And I'm just going to tie it into a fairly big bow with nice big bowies. Is that what they call them? Bowies? Anyway, yeah, I'm going to tie a nice big bow and form it into a neat shape and then I'm actually just going to hot glue it into position. So once I've formed the shape that I want, I'm also going to cut the tail ends down um, to be the right length. Um, once you've attached it with hot glue, you can further trim them. So it's always worth leaving them a little bit longer than you think you're going to want them. But I'm going to sort out the shape of it first, uh, check I like the size of it on my wreath, and then I'm going to chop the excess off. Then I'm going to go back in with my trusty glue gun. Again, if you're doing the non-glue gun method of this wreath, then you could just wire on the bow or you could tie it on with string, just thread it through the baubles and onto the back, onto the coat hanger and tie it off there. But I'm going to pop some glue onto where I want the um, bow to sit and I'm going to stick the centre part of the bow. I'm also going to dab a little bit behind the two bow ears just to get them to sit exactly where I want them, but just on the back loop so that the front loop still sticks out. And that's it, finished. I'm going to go around and just double check that there's no little stringy bits of hot glue and pick those off. And I've also added a little wire loop, um, threaded it onto the coat hanger on the back, just so I can hang it from the little nail that's on our front door. And it's finished. I'm really, really happy with it. You could also zhuzh it up further by adding fairy lights to it and hiding the battery pack on the back. But I've opted for a non-fairy lit option. But I think it's really pretty. I love the pinks and the greens and I love how the jewels have added a little bit of sparkle. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you love this DIY. If you want to see more DIY videos, then obviously please do subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments what videos you'd love to see in the new year. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.